Welcome to this video abstract entitled Atomistic Simulation of Bicomponent Self-Assembly. Before we get started, let us briefly describe self-assembly. Here at the nanochemistry group and molecular functions group in Strasbourg, we believe self-assembly is the method of choice to direct the formation of atomically precise architectures. However, in order for self-assembly to occur, molecular building blocks of interest should be coupled to a noise path very specific and often known conditions, like temperature, solvent, and volume. Only under such specific conditions, molecules will spontaneously and collectively arrange to the desired architecture. In our study, we focus on the model case of a 2D network as our bottom architecture, to try and unravel these conditions in silico. Start then by choosing the topology of our molecular building blocks in order to produce a honeycomb lattice absorbed on top of a substrate. Since a complex architecture involves more than one component, a simulation should at least describe the self-assembly of two components, and hence the term bicomponent. Our lattice is constructed by linkers, within a cornerstone, melamine, through triple hydrogen bonds. We then proceed by submerging our computer-simulated noise path an equimolar mixture of 80 components, trying to mimic the experimental conditions at all times. We find that, although molecular recognition events do occur, only transient polygonal networks are observed in the sub-microsecond timescale. Effectively, what we notice is that the polygonal networks in our many simulations behave as a dynamic class. In other words, the system is highly frustrated. It is interesting to note some of the most complicated transient polygonal networks in our simulation correlate perfectly to observed domains in STM experiments. We now turn our attention to artificially reduce such observed frustration in order to promote the system towards its crystalline state. For this end, we scale down the energetics of self-interactions. What we now find is not only that our system clusters very rapidly, but as you will note, it actually undergoes a transition towards a semi-crystalline cluster below 200 nanoseconds. If what we are searching for is to design crystalline architectures, we might refer to this phenomenon as self-healing from the polygonal state to the crystalline one. In order to avoid the self-interaction problem, we might think of a system bearing only donors or only acceptors of hydrogen bonds. We then find analogs based on chemically accessible species. The result is that the novo design system is now able to self-heal much rapidly than the previous one. Note how this video clip now represents 200 nanoseconds, while the previous ones were only tenths of nanoseconds long. In summary, we managed to identify a few points in our thermodynamic surface where in silico self-assembly does occur. This is already enough to access one design principle of self-healing, where we turn a frustrated system to one which crystallizes rapidly. We expect our work to lay the basis of atomistic material engineering, so that in the near future, the molecular arrangement of a material can be known even before experiment.